Hi everyone, it's Rindon with TJ Free. Today I'm turning off some of my cryptocurrency miners that I've been using to mine and generate free Bitcoin and cryptocurrency uh, for myself, but also to get free heat uh, for the building. And so I'm turning some of these off today because it's spring, it's getting warm outside, and I don't need all this extra heat that's being produced. Um, and this one's actually profitable, but some of my other ASIC miners are not profitable. I only ran them to get heat, and then as a, as a byproduct, I got kind of a nice, um, some free Bitcoin or out, of the, out of the mining process. Um, so I'm going to take you around and show you some of these, and we'll talk a little bit about, about what this is. You've probably heard of Bitcoin, I'm sure, and heard of cryptocurrency, um, and maybe you've even heard of mining. So what this really is, this is a, a computer that I built specifically for uh, cryptocurrency mining. And it has four graphics cards, and all these graphics cards are just basically maxed out to doing computations as quickly as they can to more or less they're, they're processing transactions on a cryptocurrency network. So instead of having a, a bank like a central clearinghouse, these are kind of processing transactions and recording and auditing you know, what's happening with the cryptocurrency. Um, and so anyway, this is, has a power supply, we've got a motherboard here, and then it's connected, and the, the, the resource I'm using right now is called NiceHash. Um, I just got a payout from a company called Slushpool. I mine with a couple, different, uh, a couple different companies, but this one is actually really easy. It's Windows-based, which I don't love Windows, but it's really user-friendly and really easy. You can just download this if you have kind of a nicer um, computer with like a, like a, those are RX 580s, the graphics cards. If you have like a, a GTX like 1070, 1080, um, or anything newer than that, you can run this and make a couple dollars a day. Right now, this rig is making uh, $4 every day. So this is producing just about $4 every day worth of Bitcoin. And it gets paid out, I think I get payouts like every, every 24 hours too. It's kind of nice. Um, we'll walk over here. I just want to show you my recent payout from a different mining pool from Slush Pool. This one's $276 um, worth of Bitcoin, so it's actually 0 .00491 Bitcoin uh, is what I received. And this is running, this is my own node. It's an umbral is what it's called. So even though this is in a, in a web browser, this is actually my own node that's running and talking to the Bitcoin network. It's actually downloading the blocks and processing them, and I can query the blockchain, and, and I can kind of get insight as to what's happening. Let's walk down now and take a look at some of the other miners I have running. So this is the upstairs area that I heat just with the graphics cards. That's called GPU mining. This other type of mining uses dedicated hardware just for the cryptocurrency mining, and they're called ASIC miners. ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. They use these ASIC chips. Anyway, here's one from Bitmain. And so this is mining Bitcoin, uh, and it puts out hot air out the back here. These two I just barely turned off, but if we turn them on here, we can see they're very loud. And basically they have a, a cord connecting to the internet. They have a, a power supply. And this one I can actually turn off too. I'm gonna kick all these off right now because these are the ones that are no longer needed. I, I'm gonna turn them off and, and store them away for the winter because all of these miners are, are not very efficient. They, they consume almost as much electricity as they produce in Bitcoin. Um, all three of those are, are Bitcoin miners and you can buy them specifically, you know, you can buy some for, for different. I have a Dash miner, for example, running over here um, in the old studio. So I just wanted to give you a peek at these cryptocurrency miners so you can see what they look like and maybe more or less understand what they're doing. Um, I wouldn't recommend, you know, buying some of these and getting into it right now as a, as, a, as a business, as a way to make money. It's very competitive. The only reason I'm using these is because I already had them. I purchased these several years ago. I mined a bunch on them and paid the machines off. And so now I just use them as heaters. I use them to heat the shop because they put off so much heat. And so I basically get... They, they, they make enough Bitcoin to pay the electric bill as an electric heater. So I get free heat and a little bit of leftover um, cryptocurrency, especially now since Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these have been going up. Um, I'm making you know, re more returns. I get free electricity and I'm making money on top of that. But I'm making a, a more money too doing, um, I do some cryptocurrency farming and some lending. And so maybe I'll make videos on that, talking about that in the future. That's better ways if you want to start making money in cryptocurrency 
that's maybe some of the better way, that's more like traditional investing where you take some of your money and then you, you lend it or you invest it and you can get returns um, you know, on top of, of existing money. Buying the hardware like this is very risky. So before you dive into it, I would say do a lot of research if it's something you wanted to do. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and look forward to catching you in the next video.